Hello and welcome back to the channel where once again it's time for another Sega Saturn review and today I've got a first, my first ever interactive movie style game being reviewed by myself and I'm looking at the title known as D which came out in March of 1996. It originally came out on the 3DO but did get converted over to the PlayStation and the Saturn. Now, I can't deny my experience with games like this is very, very limited. They've never appealed to me ever, and I've never played one through from start to finish until I sat down and played all of D for this review. Now, the story of D is pretty simple. A doctor in a hospital in Los Angeles goes on a massive killing spree. His daughter is informed by the police. Her name's Laura. She drives straight there. She wants to know what's going on. She gets to the hospital, but once she gets inside and sees all the dead bodies, it all of a sudden becomes warped into a castle and she has to try and find out the reason why her father has gone on this demented killing spree. <laughs> So once the title screen rolls around, there are no options, there are no difficulty settings, controls, nothing. It is literally press start to begin the game and you'll be told you need five blocks of internal RAM to be able to play the game. Otherwise, it will not save when you get to the end of disc one. This is an important thing to take note of because if you play through it without this, you will get to the end of disc one. It can't save your game and you can't go on to disc two. You have to then start disc one again, making sure you've got memory space on the Saturn. So this is a really crucial factor before you start playing this game. So as always with my Saturn reviews, we're gonna talk about the way the game looks, the way it sounds, the way it plays, what kind of lifespan it gives you and whether it is worth playing today in the year 2022. Now heading into the game in terms of looks, D isn't a very good looking game. Now this is originally in Japan, it came out in 1995. So you take into account that when you look at the visuals, it doesn't look very good. This game definitely benefits from being played on a CRT. Obviously for recording the footage, I record the footage on my HD TV with a satin HDMI cable and this doesn't look that impressive. It's quite a dark, dingy looking game and the video quality for all the cutscenes isn't particularly high just like the still images that are in the game as well I don't feel they're very good obviously yes it's old but I still feel they could look better as well the game screen is really cropped it's really small which again takes away visual appeal from the game without a doubt it's really tough to give D praise in this day and age in the way it looks. I do feel the game creates quite a good atmosphere once you're looking around the environment that you're in. I do think it works quite well in that regard, but in terms of being a good looking game with good quality video as well, considering it's an FMV based game, it just falls short and definitely in today's age with today's standards, it looks really, really bad. Talking about the gameplay and trying to say whether it's good or bad is pretty difficult for me because I, I've not played games like this before. They're pretty much a case of moving forwards, backwards, left, right, pressing the A button at times, bringing up the menu with R and selecting items to progress further in the game. It's very simplistic. It's pretty much just an interactive movie broken up by you having to occasionally move left or right or forwards or press a button to do something. It's pretty simplistic. You do get a quick time event partway through the game as well which just give you a little bit of variety but not a whole lot it's difficult to criticize i think the gameplay for the kind of game it is like i said i don't have experience playing these games but it kind of played exactly how i expected it to so i'm not going to fault it in that regard but it's not going to give you a fulfilling gameplay experience because these games aren't designed to do that So moving on to the sound of the game, we could be talking about possibly the best part of the game here. I definitely think 
it has a really good atmosphere the game and a lot of that comes from the fact there's not a lot of music playing at times but when the music kicks in it's in at the right moments whether it's an enemy whether it's an important part whether you're opening a door and locking something like that and it works well there's not a lot of it in the game in general but what is there works well the downside with the sound i think is the fact that laura the main character doesn't actually speak any point in the game. It's a little bit odd because her father talks and he's talking to you throughout your adventure but even at the end of the game when she's face to face with her dad she doesn't say a single word. It's just a little bit bizarre for me but all in all the sound is probably the highlight of the game. <laughs> So moving on to the lifespan of the game and there is one really important piece of information I have to tell you. You are given a two hour time limit to complete the game and that is two hours that you've got to do it in straight away. The only time you save it is at the end of disc one and when you put the disc two in you automatically carry on. There's no save points on disc one throughout the game. There's no save points throughout disc two. It doesn't work like that. Now disc one is incredibly short, probably only about 10 to 15 minutes long in all fairness. And disc two, a big chunk of your playthrough time on disc two is spent in a room turning a dial, unlocking different areas. It really, really is. You go in there, you turn it a certain amount of times to open one location. You come back in once you've finished in there. You turn it some more times. You come back in, do it again. And it's actually really, really repetitive. And that was my most frustrating actual um, part of the game. Without a doubt, coming into this room and keep turning the dial. It was really slow really annoying and the game does have a really slow play slow pace i should say even though it doesn't take long to complete the pacing of the game is really really slow once you've seen one ending you're probably not going to want to again again play through the game to see the other ending and in this day and age you can just go on youtube and watch the other ending so lifespan d really really poor So all in all, D is a pretty odd experience, especially when you play it now, because games like this don't really exist anymore. Obviously, when it came out, there'd been a few. We kind of like had Mansion of Hidden Souls. It was followed by Enemy Zero. There was Tariqo on the Saturn as well. Probably a fair amount of other games as well, definitely around about that time. But if you play it now, it does feel really unique, really strange. And really, really weird. And obviously, at the end of the game, you realize that Laura actually killed her own mum. They're descendants of Dracula, and they turn into vampires. And the, her father had to erase her memory so that she didn't realize that. And that's why she's having flashbacks in the game. Obviously, she kills her dad in the good ending to stop him being transformed into a vampire. So you do have a, a, a story experience, kind of like almost a short movie really and that's probably something that I would really really stress this game isn't worth playing yourself you can go on YouTube and watch a playthrough of it it's almost like watching a short movie and that's probably what I would suggest if you want to see the whole story just go on there and watch it there's no need to spend the money on this game this game's going to probably cost you over 50 quid if you want a physical copy for it so it's definitely not a cheap satin game either is it worth buying? Not really. Is it worth watching? Yeah, it is actually because it's interesting and from today's point of view it's actually pretty unique in all fairness. But does it get into our Saturn Top 10? Obviously not because it just doesn't have the gameplay. It's an interactive movie. A game like this is never going to do it for me ever and obviously there's quite a few more on the Saturn that we're going to have to look at at some point. But we will get to them in the future. Has anyone else seen or played D? out there i'm sure other people's opinions will change your mind this game got quite good reviews when it came out in japan it was incredibly popular sold over a million copies and then got another release i think as a special edition after that so it was incredibly popular at the time but obviously i'm reviewing games as to how they hold up now in 2022 and d from a gaming perspective doesn't do that of course as always this is just my opinion and i'm open to anybody giving me their thoughts on D at all. That is it for today. Thank you for watching. And as always, I will be back with another Saturn review next week. Goodbye for now.